to Game of Thrones mod, I'm Paradoxos, and we are back with Duncan the Tall. It's been a while since we've played as Duncan. Um, been pretty much concentrating on the custom series, but we are going to still do this. Um, I'm also thinking about maybe doing... I've never, ever... I know a lot of people don't like it. Me, myself, I don't really uh, care for, you know, just like doing a... a mega blobbing like taking over the world game because by the time you get to like a certain point um you end up going and, and making it just to where you steamroll everybody but the one thing we have with this that i i think it's actually adds a little bit more interest to doing it is the mega war system where they decide to follow you or not and i didn't want to spend a lot of time doing it but i've never done a world conquest in this mod um so I wanted to maybe, I definitely want to play probably as like a Targaryen or something and try to see if we could take over all of the known world, every little bit of it, being under the Targaryen banner. So I'll probably do that too, going along with this in the custom series, because that to me doesn't take much time or effort, it's pretty much just taking over the world. So I've just never done it and always wanted to, so that's that. But we're back now with Duncan. Um, last time we left off, Duncan has a severe case of the shits. Um, and he's drunk, I guess being drunk and will eventually lead you to having the shits. But, um, yeah, I don't know if he's gonna survive, I hope so. Um, his son, Eustace, who is our heir, he's looking pretty good, he's very well-rounded. Um, uh, he does have affectionate, so, I mean, there's not really bad that could come from that. I just don't want him to be, uh, content. And I'm hoping with the willful, he either becomes, uh, ambitious or brave. I know a lot of times with this trait, you can get both ambitious or brave or like uh brave and authoritative stubborn's really not that as bad as it could be but i'd rather not have that but that's that we're leading right or we're teaching them right now we can't teach them anymore uh fighting because we are formidable and you can't force train a child to formidable which kind of sucks but hopefully he will eventually turn formidable. Now, we have Lord Garth of Dosk, Dosk, whatever. He's a formidable fighter. So, hopefully, he will train little Eustace to be a formidable fighter. But we need to give Eustace to somebody else because we only have Dutiful Commander. And I would like him to be better than that, hopefully. So, let's go ahead and find a guard. I already looked pretty much before I did this. So, probably good this uh, lowborn reachman here. He's got brilliant commander. Um... He's got mystics, no, I don't really care about, but he's got envious, ambitious, zealous, authoritative. So two traits here that he can get from his childhood trait. We don't have to worry about the depression. I hope not. I don't think it really matters. He would have probably been my next choice, but I really do think that even though you're going after a certain uh, trait like Marshall, that the learning does kind of, you know, fit in somehow. Because if they're like completely dumb, like I don't see how, you know, that would help with their education. Um, I would just rather have the formidable fighter guy, but he is only a skilled commander. So, him being in Master at Arms and already training children, hopefully that will work out too for him. So, we're gonna just going to use this Reachman here. He's probably the best bet overall with his traits. So, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, I thought about just training him up until the time he's like 14 or 15, but I'll do that a lot and I'll forget to change him to somebody who's brilliant commander. <laughs> So I don't want that to happen. Uh, we do have our daughter who is still the Lady Paramount of the Reach. She is, has cancer. She's actually the mild uh, cancer. So it's not that bad because she has a minus two and a half um, health. But the mild illness gives her plus one. A successful treatment gives her plus two. She's actually ahead in the health compared to what the cancer is. So hopefully they can have a child because it'll be a tall over the Reach. Which would be pretty cool. Um, our kid should inherit most of uh rainy's claims and we have our other daughter rowan who we named as rowan weber so as a little you know dive into what we were doing we should seek treatment for our diarrhea maybe he'll give us some imodium ad or something who knows um who's this uh yeah this is the guy we took over last time we had a claim he was trying to claim all my goddamn land so we just took him over um I'm thinking about just taking in Red Lake into our little John here because we got a little, a nice little uh, cushion here, a little tall thing here. Um, Willem, we probably could take two from Lord Paramount because he's not under a uh, high lordship. But I think Red Lake or Yelp, whatever this is here, yeah, Red Lake would be a little better. All uh, right, so there's nothing else we got to do, just but 
go ahead and see what's gonna happen. Do, who can we imprison? I'm not gonna imprison him. I already took his land. And what are you trying to do? You're trying to kill Sor Uthor the Snail. Hmm. He's our spot master, yeah. What do we need here? We need commander, and I don't think we have any skilled fighters here. Um, nah, well, you know what? Fuck it, I'll put him there. Um, let's see. We need another commander. We don't really need a commander, per se, but I'll just leave it for now. We don't really need it. We're not doing any warring. We do have five claims. Of course, we have claims on all the stuff that the uh, Targaryens hold right now, being, you know, we have Blackfires and Targaryens in our area. For some reason, uh, Daenerys Blackfires dragon is in my court but she's not she's over at um i think the red keep if i'm not mistaken yeah so i don't know why our dragon's here let's go and pump pause and see hopefully it moves lord reaver aaron the downcast has declared war on orkmont independence or king rogar yeah they've been holding on to the uh kingdom of the iron islands for a long time now um they also have dorn so i could see things starting to implode because for one he's a young kid uh, his regent is actually a Dornish Sir Dennis the Orange Bard. Did he really give a bard land? What an asshole. <laughs> Whatever. Alright. Hopefully something good will happen. Henley states that his extensive medical experience leads him to a certain conclusion that your symptoms point to cancer. He insists that you follow his instructions. Man, I hope this isn't cancer. We do have an okay maester, so... Maester Henley insisted that you would feel much better if your humors were restored to the proper balance and the bloodletting was the best way to go about it. So we got some extra health. Yeah, we have cancer. I guess cancer is running in our uh, genes. Oh, we have severe illness. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're probably going to die. <laughs> I wonder if we should just go ahead and try something new. We are brave. Henley, um, I'm kind of worried about him. <laughs> I wonder if we can, uh, what am I doing? If we can last for a little bit. I mean, drunk does give us, or being drunk, it takes away our health too. Let's just try it out, the hell of it. Uh, you cannot believe your eyes when Maester Henley pulled a severed hand from his satchel. The black spots on his fingers sent chills down your spine and you demanded to know where he got it from. He only hushed you and proceeded to rub the severed hand against your chest. I feel amazing. All right. That's good. <clears throat> so now we got plus three. That right there is three and a half of those two. And then that says four and a half. So we really got a minus one and a half. It could be a lot worse, but here goes the loot uh, passing around again. Come on, girl. You need to get... Well, what just happened? The fuck? Uh, did everybody join him? No, it's just him against Orkman. I think because everybody's... No, nobody's really helping this either. I don't think really, people really care for him. I don't know why if he did anything wrong. I don't think he did anything. There is a lot of negatives. Um, most of the hot Lord Paramounts are a little green. There's some that are negative. I don't remember Baron Stark looking like this. I know, I remember he was the peculiar because he's uh, homosexual. But we do need to pay back a loan here soon, I know that. Uh, 8232, 7th Moon. I believe that one of your vows can be discouraged from associating with conspir conspiratorial factions if the proper leverage is obtained. So I know this guy's going to be a pain in the ass. Let's just threaten him. He already doesn't like us, anyways. Sir Uthar Underleaf has been a leal and able servant, having successfully completed many tasks in aid of North March. It would be seen as right and honorable course to reward him with certain incomes and grants so as to foster greater loyalty. How much money do I have to give him? 15 is not that bad. Definitely not giving you land. Do you have a... Uh, it'd be great if I could make him nobility. Actually, give, making somebody a, a noble costs less than giving them a gift. Oh, wow. I haven't really seen this only once before. Uh, the gods of Yt Reformation. The ancient gods of Yt religion have has attained great power. Rather than abandoning the old ways, God Emperor Mok Fuk, <laughs> the most powerful priest, have decided to reform the gods of Yt faith in order to turn the tides and lead the assault against the new religions. 
with the god emperor being worshipped as its divine leader. The gods, <laughs> the, the gods of E.T. faith has finally defined the fundamental differences between itself and the other Eastern religions, preventing any more of its worshippers from slipping away to the line of the night. The starry wisdom and their ilk. This event could mark the beginning of a new era of religious re reformation all throughout the known world and spell doom for the traditional religious powers. So, I guess this dude got a blow on, maybe. No? I thought he would get one for this. I guess not. So, they reformed uh, the Yee-T faith. Let's look over here and see. Uh, a lot of people usually will stay with the old ones a lot of times. So, yeah, there's a lot of old gods of E.T. over here, some there. It's kind of broken up, but that's pretty cool, though. You don't really see, um, especially in this mod, I really don't see ever anybody reforming religions. I also thought about doing that. All right, so he gave in to us, which was cool. <laughs> I thought about doing uh, Aegon as a Valyrian, staying Valyrian and reforming it. Kind of like just, you know, mega, mega Aegon and take over the world. But we'll see what how it goes i would like to do some kind of dragon rider it'd be cool to use valerion and just you know ravish the whole world my friend oswald has been really letting himself go as of late what was once a strong and energetic man has slowly become weak-willed and sent sedentary what sedentary glutton only excited about his next great beast i guess we'll warn him I was relieved to see that my words did not go unheard. Oswald thanked me for my concern and promised me that he will start dieting immediately. It's funny to see they do that, like the fat goes away from their cheeks. I wish it was that easy. <laughs> Boom, you're not fat anymore. Come on, girl, you need to get pregnant before you die. We need a tall on the reach. Look at her fucking Marshall. She is insane. <laughs> I wish she was our heir. The thing is, she's probably going to die. I don't know. I've seen some people with cancer a little long time in this, so we'll see what happens. I think I really do something about these loots in this sub mod. I, that event pops up like 20 times in one playthrough. A 20 to 30 minute playthrough, you will see 10 to 12 loots get passed around. Master Casper of Griffith's Roots accepted Lord Lionel the Lab Store's peace offer. So what did he do? He took him over? Uh, sign after Bruce War. His claim on Gr oh wow, so he took the high lordship of Griffin's Roost. I think he's trying to take back Mrs. Land because they had uh the Lord Paramount's he taken away from him, which kind of messed up. He does have a good amount of land right here. If you look, he's got like half the Stormlands, at least the good uh provinces of the Stormlands. I mean, there's a couple, but you know these right here, pretty much the best one. Then you have Tarth and um. Estermont's not bad. Well, hopefully he takes it back over. I could have swore they were friends. One time I, I played in this uh, time period. But I must be mistaken. We did have him in our court for like two weeks. And then he had to take over. <laughs> uh, my son-in-law, Lord Paramount Garland Tyrell, has tried to have Lord... Uthar Willem of Smallwood arrested but failed to apprehend him. Lord Uthar has now raised his banners of rebellion. So we're going to help our son-in-law with this war. So we're going to raise up our men. Because he's right next to us. He's getting ready to come in our shit anyways. Let's see. I know some of these I'm not going to be able to uh, like him. He won't get out in time. And I can't get him down here in time. Uh, the fourth of the fourth moon. Yeah, he's like a month ahead of me. So... We'll drop this guy. So we're fine with these. And then we'll have everybody come meet and stand fast. Um, yeah, we're not on the council. I thought we were on the council. I guess not. Um, I guess we'll use Brian and Randall. Hmm. Argolac, probably, yeah. I don't know. Right now, we'll have Brian there until the other ones get here. Yeah, I know he's going to stop. So at least... How long this dude gonna be? He's in this here. All right, let's put all these guys together. I guess we'll just leave it that way. Let's go down and help our son-in-law win this war. Uh, in the middle of the battle, I catch sight of a boy wearing the same color as I am. I just have time to notice the fierce expression on his face when he is struck down. I feel a pang of guilt, realizing how much he reminded me of my son Eustace. We must remember to tend to our wounded. 
There is no time to take breaks for North March. Charge! <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we'll take the uh, prestige. We'll go down here and help uh, our son-in-law siege this. Are we? Let's just attach to him. Matter of fact, oh man, it's already over. Oh, that's the other war. Damn, how do you win that so quick? They need to come over here. Oh, yeah, they are. God damn. That was quick. I mean, I didn't think the dude was going to win anyways. Let's just say we're going to join him so we can get some extra uh, love. <laughs> man, she has to get pregnant, man. Uh, the lady almost ran me down as I entered the hall. Tearfully, she told me that my ward, Leah, had insulted her again. Um, she has a ch uh, chance of getting honest or rude. Um, this one would be deceitful and honest. I'm about to do this one. This is uh, Lord Kidwell's kid, I think. Yeah, he's our friend. Uh, Lord Reaver, Lord of Orkmont, has accepted King Rogar's of the Iron Thrones peace offer. Hey, that was quick. He didn't have any men. I hate when they do these stupid ass rebellions and have no men. They'll, they'll rebel against the crown with 700 men. As I get older and older, my body will, will just not stop its incessant growth. <laughs> my skin is getting thicker. My voice is becoming deeper. My limbs hurt and I have a headache that just won't, will not go away. While my immense stature is more imposing than ever, I feel my spirit slowly leaving my body. Oh, this isn't good. Did you get that gi gigantism or whatever the hell? You just keep growing and growing. <laughs> He's already got all kind of health problems. Dunk's getting ready to die, I see it. Escalating giants, and he's got severe illness. He's got the cancer. Good thing we got the uh, experimental treatment. Because we'd probably die. She really needs to get pregnant, man. I know she's got... Hold on, is he... Uh, he's not chasing her on the air. Right, good. And she's not. All right. Hopefully, that minus 20 won't hurt too much. We're just sitting here sieging us down. What did it say? Bandits have raided the siege camps outside Lord's Main, killing many of the besieging soldiers. That's not good. A key holder of the Iron Bank of Bravas has arrived in Stamp Pass. He is seeking repayment of a loan. Um, how much do we have to pay? The letter of 109 is reduced by half. We have it all, don't we? Hold on. Uh, I guess it isn't going to show me because he's actually here. I'll pay off half the debt. Man, I, don't, I didn't think we took that much money. Extended by two years. Doing five. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with this. We really don't make a ton of money. We're actually losing money right now because of our troops. Um, May you live in harmony and contentment. We would like you to back our plot to fabricate a claim on Lordship of Cider Hall. I ain't fucking with Gorman. That dude's a, a, a monster. I'm out of this one. <laughs> he kills everybody that comes to him. In the Duncan Egg books, he's like one of the people conspiring to, uh, you know, side with the Blackfires during the uh, attorney and the the wedding slash. I think it was. I don't think there was a attorney involved. I'm not mistaken. I knew there was a wedding in Butterwell and a fray. And, and the little, there's a little uh, baby Frey there that's like a couple years old, if that. And it's actually Walder Frey from the current timeline. That's how fucking old he is. Alright, go ahead and finish this shit so we can drop these men. I can stop losing money. Revolt against the rule of Lord Paramount Garland is won by Garland. <laughs> Your acquaintance, Lord Arthur Willem. Uthor Willem, he's been in prison, of course. You lost, that's what happens. What's going on here? Why is it a different color? Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and drop these dudes. What the fuck? Okay. I hope, I just want him to survive long enough for Eustace to become 16. Oh, of course he gets content. Of course. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I wonder I wonder if there's a chance to get rid of this if like an ambition thing comes up. Because it's the opposite of ambitious, so you can't have both. 
Recently, I noticed a pitiful state of my daughter, Lady Perma Hella. I've seen, I've just been informed the cause of her aches and fatigues, a case of the flu. This isn't good, man. Our whole family's just like completely burdened by sickness. What did I do to deserve this? God's trying to punish us. The father is punishing our family for our grand ambitions. We still have a uh, truce on him until... Damn, man. It's a long time. Maybe we should move him over somewhere else. Is Smallwood still under him? Now, I wonder if we go to war for his thing. It'd just be against him. So let's go ahead and move the guy over there instead. Because this guy's in such a long truce. We probably won't live that much longer. Um, yeah, it's got to go to Smallwood. Try to add a little more to our little duchy here for our son. Let me see. You're still training children. Good. Everything else is good. All right. <clears throat> Please just live long enough for Eustace to become 16. When I introduced my friend to Oswell, I had high hopes. I hoped they would become fast friends so we could spend time together, the three of us. <laughs> Too bad Oswell didn't like my friend. Oh, well. All right. What's this? Unmarried heir. He wasn't betrothed to somebody? I thought he was betrothed. Huh. There's a Lannister Banefort. That's quick. So we'd be able to inherit Banefort up in the west too. When they have kids. If they have kids. It's probably a good match. She's a uh, Lannister. Is her, is her dad had claims? Her dad is Lord Gerald. The brother of the Lord Paramount. Hmm. Is that the Tyshara? Lannister. Damn, she's quick too. What the hell's this? Woman has filled rivers with blood of her victims and built mountains out of their skulls with her psychotic desire to please the cruel god she worships. What the fuck is this? I've never seen this before. Huh. I've never seen that. I think we might go with her for Eustace. She is a little younger, but I'd like to get a quick one. And she has land already. Uh, the only thing is, is she, he'll he'll roll over there. I mean, I could keep him here. You just invite him back. You can always bite the man back if they're married to like a, a woman that has land. Uh, she looks like probably the best bet. She does have quick. This Tarly girl's okay. Elena Tarly. She's a little bit younger. But he's already got like strong enough. I don't want him to. Hopefully he doesn't get that giganticism shit. And end up dying from it. There's just so many people to. There's a Tarth over here. She's just way too young, though. I'm trying to scroll through this pretty quick. I think we're just going to go with that Lannister. Matter of fact. Uh, we don't have to worry about that. I'd rather have a Quick or Genius. And there's probably no chance there's going to be a Genius in here. So we'll just go with that Lannister. I'm just going to scroll. Yeah, it looks like that Lannister is probably going to be the best bet. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, there's another one of those things. Where the hell is this from? I don't remember that. I hope I didn't corrupt something. <laughs> Alright, we'll just go to her. There we go. Alright. I'm just hoping, man, he stays alive until he uses his little age. I don't really... I hate rolling as a kid. Alright, we might as well do one more tourney before we die. Except to excite... Uh, of course you will. Um, what was that at? Oh, uh, yeah, up in Risley or Risley. He's probably trying to lure me there to kill me, but oh well. Baron Stark has had a badge in hand the king removed from his treasury. It's fine. Is Garland on the council? It's Master Ships. My lord, news from Red Keep of a great trial at court. Lord Reaver, Lorne Oakheart, was imprisoned by King Rogar Targaryen and st stood accused of sedition and conspiracy against the realm. Lord Othgar, good brother, presided over the trial during which the prisoner was ultimately found guilty. As a consequence, Lord Reaver Lorne has been taken into custody until the council has decided on punishment. Uh, yeah, because he's a kid. He's got good learning. After arriving at Risley Glade, the first day of the tourney began in earnest. You tilted against many lesser knights throughout the day. We all know this feel. Uh, I'm not going to bet this time because we're pretty uh, messed up. Look at this dude's jaw. He's got a Habsburg jaw. 
He's got wry mouth. <laughs> if we get beat by this guy, we deserve it. Because this guy is terrible. Alright, we knocked him out. It'd be good to win one last turn here before we die. Who's this? Colin Woodwright. Uh, Lord Paramount Leo of the Westerns revoked the Lordship of Grand Mother House. Whatever the hell that is. Hit! I'll knock him off this time, you big chin bastard. God damn. Dude's terrible. You're constantly. <laughs> uh, now we gotta go against our friend. He might actually get us. He's pretty good. We still got better personal combat skill, but. Steady. None can beat me. <laughs> Hit. Knock him off this time. Hit. Nice. It'd be pretty cool if we win this and then die. <laughs> there we go. Victory is mine. It was a tiny tournament, though. Victory is mine. I've defeated all that stood before me. No one capable of unhorsing me from my fine mount. I have claimed the winner's purse in the adulation of the gallery. So we get 25 gold for the prestige. I really like to be able to form a uh, bloodline because this isn't really considered a uh, what's it called like a familial bloodline because like you can't make the armor or nothing. Let me see if we can. I know we, we get to five thousand around that time. We'll wait. Then we got a little bit left. Lord Robert's turn is finally over. Now time to ride home. <laughs> Baron Stark. Uh, why does it keep? Why does this keep happening? What is it like coming down and being handed the king for like a day and then leaving? <laughs> Lord Donner, the beast tamer. Oh, wow. The heir to uh, the north has a dire wolf. He has a cat. He has a regular wolf. <laughs> is he a skin changer? Yeah, the skin. What is it? Oh, he's in the company of the cat. Valera, the hunchback. <laughs> All right, here goes another one. Um. This is actually, I think, a regional one. I'm not mistaken. Said uh, the Lords of the Reach. I think they're usually, uh... Hold on, I just saw... Hold on, stop! I think she was the one. Nah, that wasn't her. That's the other Daenerys. She's the Targaryen. The Dar Daenerys Blackfire is the one who has the dragon. It's probably still here. No, Okay. It must have went with her as soon as we had Paul's in the beginning. All right, uh, we knew the whole spiel. Of course, when I didn't bet the last time, we won. Now, if I would have bet, we would have lost the first one. Damn, I forgot to look at the guy. Mm, he wasn't bad. Sir Franklin. He's not bad either. Duncan's just letting it all out right now. <laughs> He's like, I'm getting ready to die. We might as well pull off some victories. Uh, we got Sir Uthar to snail. He might try to cheat. <laughs> I think there's there's one of these things where you can, um, if you have good entry, you can cheat somehow. Even a blunt blaze in a training fight is a disastrous thing. Sometimes a sword might strike just a bit too hard. Aw, oh, man. How do we get... How are we... We're practice fighting and in the middle of a tournament... It kind of sent, oh Christ, yeah, we're dead. We're done, yeah. Knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> I think we're gonna come in like fourth now. Son of a bitch. Uh, I reached the semifinals of the tournament having finally knocked off my horse by a superior jouster. Though my glory is lessened this day, I still claim a purse for reaching the final rounds. Or at least we get something. I knew he was gonna get us, son of a bitch. He's a fucking monster. He's like 67 years old and he's got 140 personal combat skill. Like if we didn't have all this crazy shit wrong with us, ours would be pretty good. Probably be higher than his. We got three minus 20, so that'd be 160 right there. And then a minus five, we'd be 165 if we didn't have all that bullshit. Uh, there's always a place at my table and a warm spot in front of the hearth. For all the old men and women who have served me before and now have nowhere else to go. Their stories delight everyone and I see no need for them to be forgotten after their long lives of hard work for me. Um, the kindness of Lord Duncan and the press Septon Armin. I need some prestige. Oh, we are at 5,000. 
Let me see if it has the uh, option. Yes, we do. All right, we'll go ahead and go for this. Hopefully, we don't die before it happens. It's just like um, it's a pretty uh, what the hell is it called? This is like the it, there's a different criteria to get like the real plane. Now you can get like a hybrid of two, but a lot of times if you don't get those after a, a certain amount of time, it'll just let you like guide the way you want the uh, bloodline to go, which sometimes I think is better than actually getting the ones that where you like win fit or go to 15 wars and kill like 100 people. I think it's like 30 people you have to kill. Yeah. All right, here we go. Another one. This seems like another uh, regional one. Maybe we can get rid of our wounded before we go against Gorman. <laughs> More than likely, that's going to be the case. My lord, scheming and stand fast is born fruit. I've discovered a plot where Lord Haber of Footley seeks to kill Magister Colio the Righteous. Uh, okay. Uh, nothing to do with us. Where, how is Eustace? Gregarious. Oh, he lost content. Nice. But what did he... Uh, hold on. Did he lose? I thought he had something else. What did he have before? He had play, playful probably is how he got gregarious. Uh, the other one was affectionate. He lost content, but I thought usually you would gain ambitious to lose it. Who knows? How's his guardian looking? His guardian is ambitious, so that is good. Hopefully he becomes good. I forgot to even look at his fighting. Is he still skilled? Yeah. Hopefully he turns out good. He's at 14. We're not a long time. Uh, it is Sir Hyle Yelsha's turn to joust, but to the crowd's shock, he stumbles out of the tourney field late and clearly drunk from too much sweet beer. <laughs> and with none of his armor and only slightly more of his clothing, he tries to mount his horse but trips and falls comically to the ground, unable to even ride. Lord Paramount Garland Tyrell the Reach seemed most displeased and publicly rebuking, rebuking and disqualifying him from the tourney. How embarrassing. I'm surprised we aren't doing that. Whilst preparing for the tourney, a young peasant boy is taken to helping with your horse and armor. You're not quite sure where he came from but how he, and how he came to start helping you, but he seems an earnest lad and eager to help. Perhaps he would make a good squire. So, they usually do this, and the person is not anything special. I don't know, like, what the point is of this. Um, let's go ahead and, um, make him some, make him a little marshal. We can raise him to nobility. Um, let's try to find you a guardian. I think we still have two anyways. Um, we probably got the same one that our kid's with. All right, I'm enjoying Lord Oten's company, and we walked in the garden for several hours, and we both fell asleep. What happened to the tourney? Did I not even make it? I don't think I'm in it. I thought I said that I wanted to. All right, he's 15 now. He still doesn't marry anybody. I wonder if we can betroth him to our young-ass daughter. I think I... Did I already betroth her? No. He will do it. She's nine years old. Fuck it. Yo, oh, he's got a dragon. Or he did. Where is it? He's a dragon rider, but no dragon. I don't know how that is. Uh, oh, here it is. Added to his treasury. Travel from rumor of fire and blood. They said that dragons live once more, and King Rogar Targaryen now rides Gorgosin. Where does dragon come from? I don't remember whose dragon this was before. That is really no marshal, though. Oh, now he's a dragon rider. <laughs> Guess people ain't gonna fuck with him too much now. At the right, all right, here we go. I was about to say what happened to the goddamn tourney. It took so long. Gwen Melendor hit. Uh, we had another drunk. Quentin Norcross. Oh my god, we got beat already. <laughs> Duncan, you're pitiful, man. I don't know what happened to him. He really fell off. I decided to accept your suggestion, betrothal. So now we're gonna have. Uh, our daughter as queen at some point. Uh, trial by combat, Lord Oth Otto 
Ambrose demanded trial by combat from his captor, Lord Paramount Garland Tyrell, selecting Sir Dickon Ambrose as his champion. Sir Dickon was slayed by his opponent and Lord Gorman Peak, proving Lord Otto's guilt. As a consequence, Lord Otto was beheaded on the order of Lord Paramount Garland of the Reach. He is fucking literally killing everybody. It doesn't look like he's only six, but it seems like he's been killing everybody. Oh, she's pregnant! Yes! Come on, make it a nice, strapping young lad. Uh, are you in a... No, we'll leave you alone for now. Alright. Look at little Eustace. With his fucking Valerian looks. Come on, man. Get ambitious or brave or something. I thought his marshal would get a little higher, but... When's he turn 16? The fifth of month. Oh, he's got a whole year. We're gonna have to stop. It's getting too long. Uh... Oh, shit. I'm at to look at the guy. Damn, he won again. This dude wins every turn. He's a monster. 67-year-old and just whipping motherfuckers. And he's excommunicated. He don't give two shits. He's just running around slinging big dick. Honor sending my child, Kellyanne. Whatever the hell that name is. Tink Tackerton? Yeah, sure, I'll take her. <laughs> King Rory of the Iron Throne has inherited the castle of Black Cells from... Well, wow, that was a black... I didn't know he was, uh... Had some land. She, she's the one that has the one dragon. What the fuck? Oh, uh, yeah, that was the one we were gonna marry to Eustace. Man, she got tore up. Alright, let's go ahead and stop here. Um, we got a good amount of time. Oh, he's got a dragon egg. Dude, give it to your betrothed. That would be awesome. That was quick. He just took over the dragon. I want to see who he gives it to. Joanna Lannister. I don't know. He has... Does he have siblings? It's 11 Targaryens in the world. Oh, that's him. <laughs> it's like a family circle instead of a tree. Yeah, I don't know who will give it to. Hopefully he'll keep it long enough until he marries her. And then give it to her. That'd be great. He just sent somebody to Night's Watch. All right, let's go ahead and stop here. Um, next time they pick up, we'll see what Eustace gets out of his education, and hopefully King Rogar will give Rowan an egg, and then Lady Paramount Hella Tall should give birth to a strapping young lad. So until next time, hit thumbs up, subscribe, join the Discord. I'll see you in the next one later.